Shalom and God bless you. All right, guys, we're back in business again. Look, this is a, a, a table I've, I've shown you before, and there's more that's come up out of it, um, as you can see. I just want to center it here so you can see the original access term, um, which comes right out of Matthew, the end of an era. Um, this is the table that had tribulation come I mean look at the symmetry on this it's just absolutely perfect on it now remember resting on top of those yellow letters which is tribulation is the increase from Chabad and I'm very certain that this is referring to um, the remnant uh, in the end time Elijah this year in that very same line Guys, you got you got to see the perfect symmetry in this. This, the number of anomalies that come up in this very small section of um, the matrix here, you can see the width is 1543. It's very small, almost entirely in the book of uh, of Daniel. Um, Ezra and Nehemiah does appear up here at the top where you see in the light blue that is the king uh, the reason there's so many the kings there is that's the book of Esther and that is why uh, you, you see that um, Daniel is a highly encrypted book and it, it, it's a lot about history and particularly the end time uh, the angel told Daniel seal up the words of this book until the end of days and you're at that point right now um, I am so honored to be able to share these things that God has, has revealed to me through the Holy Spirit and it is not by my own uh, might um, beloved um, I'm really humbled that God would use me as a messenger to, to, to bring this to you and uh, I hope I, I pray that this blesses you as much as it has me now up here where it says the increase of Chabad, starting at that bet, I found a seven letter anomaly that every seven letters, and you can see here, all the way through, it's 12 letters all together. The fact that this happens all in one line and the verse that it happens in, this purple verse here, is astounding. I mean, the, the statistical data on that has got to be... Uh, out of this world just just on that um, not to mention all the other stuff that that's here so this video may be uh, you know a few minutes long guys so bear with me because it's gonna bless you what that is right there and I'm gonna give you the best first is a, an, it's an actual sentence or, or a statement and I'm gonna take you over to the translator so you can see for yourself because I don't want you to just take my word for it I want to be able to um, show you, uh, first I want to show you, remember the Tav Shen Bet Shen, uh, excuse me, Tav Shen Bet Tav, um, you shall rest. One of my previous videos, it, that kind of happened uh, at, the, at the, uh, just right, in, right before my eyes right there you know and and that just bless me this was another one of these um, and I want to show you here those 12 letters says crushed innocent Jesus and it comes in a verse guys about the Messiah as a matter of fact um, in Daniel when it talks about the Son of Man coming on the clouds that's right here um, with an angel, uh, Zilfrin, which is hidden. You have the name Jesus here um, in the red. Jesus also appears right here, connecting uh, or meeting with Elijah. Uh, this anomaly right here, very amazing. And, and I call this an abacus anomaly. And if you know what an abacus is, it's, it's beads that are on a... It's a Chinese measuring tool, a mathematical calculating tool. Um, 
but in the codes in, a, in the the uh, the row that the letters are in because you can't switch letters back and forth to, to make words but what is happening here is two verses are coming together um, but if if you if you group the letters that come together on both verses just like this um, it reveals something very amazing uh, it, it joins with Jesus in the red and the Jubilee also with Elijah right here um, it actually says and, and I forgot what I did you know what uh, we can just hold on just a second I forgot what I did with it I apologize guys I didn't have what I wanted to have for you queued up this this other anomaly here but I do now because I paused the video um, and I want to show you now um, it comes together here with Jesus and Jubilee um, and this is what it says see in the coming days and it doesn't appear normally in the text. It only appears when, when the, the letters are slid together like on an abacus. Um, that's why I call it an abacus anomaly. That's that's one of um, the, the things that happens in codes. There, there's other things called convergence where where you'll have a word that appears in the plain text and it also converges on itself in an ELS form. I, I call that convergence uh, codes that or anomalies that appear. This is just another one, and, and it's a very amazing one. See, in the coming days, and it's talking about Jesus and the Jubilee, uh, right at the verse of the second coming. Um, in the white here, we have rapture. In the blue, same line with sharing the Lamed here is the fullness, as in the fullness of the Gentiles. And in the green here, it, it says, and at an appointed time. <laughs> uh, longing, right here in the green, with prophet. Uh, the Moedim, the appointed time, with Yeshua. And it, it goes behind my picture there, but in the yellow it says Yeshua with uh, Judah. Um, okay. Up at the top, we've got the Bible codes in blue. They do play a part in, in, the, in this whole thing. Uh, there is a date here, guys, and this is 2022 with Shemitah um, up here also with the Jubilee. Now, this is something I've said before. It, uh, there's a possibility it's either 2015 or 2022. We, you know, you can figure it out. There's a seven year, so that means tribulation <laughs> right here it's there um, see in the coming days glory to God and the appearing of Yeshua or Jesus and, and let's just go look at this verse and so you see this is Daniel 7 um, 13 and I saw in the night vision and behold one like the son of man now, the Son of Man is something that Jesus, or, or, or is a term that Jesus referred to himself over and over and over again. And I thought about that one time. Why uh, did he do this? And it came to me uh, through the Holy Spirit. And this is through some of the study I've been doing as, uh, I mean, I've not been on for a while. It's what I was doing. I went through Enoch twice, um, Jubilees, uh, Jasher. Several uh, apocryphal books and um, discovered something really amazing. Enoch plays a very vital role in the end times. He is indeed, absolutely without a doubt, one of the two witnesses. And we touched on that a little bit in some of the previous videos, but then the distractions happened and uh, I got out of that rhythm. But uh, what happens in these tables is... Um, it, it con confirms the same thing. Enoch is indeed, uh, 
he's part of the end times and it's because he has to finish his testimony uh, the Holy Spirit revealed to me through the research that I've done that the reason why he was taken was the fallen angels wanted to corrupt him and then kill him and God knew this and took him out because they knew that he testified to the end that is what the the book of Enoch is about is is historical uh, records he is called uh, uh, Safra Rabbah by God the, the great scribe um, Enoch is like no other Gentile God says he was the seventh uh, and God loved him dearly now out of Enoch came Noah now recently there's been somebody on YouTube that said that the, the Old Testament was written by Satan and uh, that the descendants of Noah were bloodsuckers and folks if you're following a doctrine like that you're following demons because nothing could be further from the truth okay the Bible is a divine book from Genesis to Revelation and the and the codes confirm that Satan cannot know the, the beginning from the end okay only God and his divine hand has encoded the Bible with the beginning to the end and everything in between Enoch is a holy heavenly scribe that God is using as one of the witnesses he is the Gentile witness Elijah is, Elijah is the Hebrew uh, anointed one um, they are looking for two anointed ones based on Zechariah 4 and their interpretation of that and that being it is Elijah and a Messiah to come and um, we know that the Messiah is not standing before God he is seated, uh, seated at the right hand of the Father there are two standing before God because uh, their testimony is not finished their job is not over uh, they still have mortal bodies and have not tasted death and um, <clears throat> everything that I've found in, in what I've searched out indicates that to be true um, there are texts that uh, confirm that and ELS that confirm it guys that is why his name comes up here in, in this and in a, in a verse about scribes no, nonetheless um, so let's just go there and look at that in this table and the reason I'm telling you this because uh, these guys up, up, up here in the other the other tables as well this is Daniel 5 11 and uh, you know in the context of the table or, or the access term and what is running through it right here which is Enoch there is a man in the thine kingdom whom is in the spirit of the holy gods and in the days of thy father light and understanding and wisdom like wisdom of the gods and that is true about Enoch that is stated in the text that Enoch knew things that no other mortal man Jew or Gentile ever saw okay so he had knowledge of the gods uh, and and this is Enoch's name running right through there um, the verse here Let's just go there. Uh, uh, many mention of a rebuilt temple. Um, somebody messaged me today about uh, Zerubbabel and the foundation being laid. Um, then Ezra and Nehemiah, which appear in this, this table, uh, an indication of a third temple being built. I'm going to go to 9 7. O Lord, righteous belonging unto thee, but unto us is confusion of faces as it is as, as at this day. Talking about the Jewish people that had the veil on, on and, and cannot see spiritually. To the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all of Israel that are near and far off through all the countries where thou hast driven them because their trespasses that have they have trespassed against thee O Lord to us belongeth confusion of face to our kings to our princes to our fathers because we have sinned against thee and that's true you can see in uh, Romans 11 
it's, it's talked about. Sorry about the malware here, guys. It's an annoying something that just happened here recently. Um, he's talking about the, this this slumber. Their eyes that could not see and ears that should not hear. By the way, it also talks about the engrafting of the Gentiles. That, that I'm trying to touch base on the previous videos is why we're going in this direction. But uh, <clears throat> that's why in, in, in Revelation 11 you, you see mention of the, of the Gentile court and measuring out the, for the temple. That's why uh, Jews and Gentiles, the, both uh, the, the olive trees, guys, um, we're going to get more in, in, into that in the fire from heaven um, table. Um, you're going to be amazed on some things over there. The the number of end time or uh, or latter day uh, prophecies that come up in that are just staggering, um, to say the least. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many, and many and they shall fall by the sword, and by flame, by captivity, and by spoil, many days. Um, runs right through there, and by the way, uh, the Bible codes actually is in there. I don't think I have it chewed up in this uh, actual table. This verse <clears throat> is the one we just saw. Now we're looking at one, two. And thus Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord God of heaven, hath given me all the kingdoms of earth and hath charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem. And that's what I was just saying. Um, indication of a third temple. Now, now in the context of the, of the plain text, it's uh, the, the second temple, but... Um, in context of the end of an era, we're talking about, you know, when Elijah comes back at Jubilee, Jesus, this is the third temple. And uh, you can see, you know, even at a width that's very small, the, the, the fact that these other verses that come up in different scriptures, one is, is Ezra here. Um, and that one's from Ezra right behind my picture. Um... Let's see. That's the last one I had highlighted. I don't even have the camera on, I guess. There we go. I forgot to turn the camera off, guys. I wanted you to see all of this. I was actually hiding some of this right here. Uh, let's just go back and show you. I'm sorry. I kind of got sidetracked before this video, guys, with somebody over in the Facebook group that was seemed a little confused about uh, who the Messiah was, and we'll just leave it at that. I'm praying for that lady, that God would have mercy on her and reveal truth. But needless to say, it, it got me uh, a little uh, off focus here. All right, this verse in Ezra, and then this one's in Ezra, and here too. I thought I had some in Nehemiah, but I didn't. So you can see Nehemiah comes up down here. Um, Elijah with, I think you've got the prophet, yeah, Hanavi, right here in the white. Now, Safra Raba. In the yellow, we've got Safra with the olive, and then starting at the rest, Rabba, Safra Rabba. That, it, that remember that's the title given to Enoch um, as the the great scribe. Safra Rabba and Enoch together, right there, the prophet uh, Elijah also crossing on itself. Elijah, and then also Rabba, yeah, right here, and also Hanak or Enoch there. Um, Three more verses, guys. 
Here we go. Uh, this is Ezra 3, 2. And then stood up Yeshua, son of Yosadak, uh, and his brethren the priests, and Zubarabal, the son of Shiltiel, and his brethren, and builded the altar of God of Israel to offer the burnt offerings thereof, written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And like I was saying, it's uh, about the, t you know, the, Somebody was just messaging me today about the foundations, and indeed the foundations are laid. Um, they are they are so close to this third temple, guys. They could put it up at any time. Uh, the foundation, he was speaking spiritually, I think, it is literally um, ready to go. Um, next verse here is also Ezra. It is 5, 8. And be it known to the king that we went into providence of Judea to the house of the great God which he is builded with great stones and timber that is laid in the walls this work goeth fast on and prospereth in their hands <laughs> and, they, and, and asked we those elders and he said unto them who commanded you to build this house and make up these walls We are the servants of God of heaven and earth and build the house that was built these many years ago which a great king of Israel built and set up. And it's going to happen again. There will be a third temple. Um, and this... Wait a minute. I think here. Oh, it's this one. 7.14 For as much thou art sent of the king and of his seven counselors to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem according to the law of God which is in thine hand. And that's the verse running here. And it's what it's saying is, and now Elijah doesn't appear normally. It's it's the actual, um, like you can see. Wait a minute, I was reading the wrong one. This is not Elijah. It's this one. Elijah was in the last one. It, it actually doesn't appear, I don't believe, in the, see how it's a, like the uh, the abacus of, uh, anomaly? It's it's the joining of letters that the name appears. Uh, this was the last verse that I wrote, read, excuse me, 714 of Ezra. And, uh, I believe it's talking about the prophet Elijah sent of the king and of his seven councils. Seven eyes. Uh, there you go, guys. That is excuse me. Here we go. Here we go. That is end of an era. And here's the access term here. And everything I just showed you, Hashemir, uh, that's the watchman, watchman. Um, there were still some ELS terms, I believe, here. This is a date. This is uh, the mid, I believe, Trib 2017, 2018. Right there. It's a date. Uh, and Yeshua's name here. And I believe that is all the ELS terms. But there you go, guys. A very amazing table about the end times. A lot of data here. So there you go. God bless you. I'm going to try to get out another table. Uh, kind of stumbled a little bit in this one. I'm a little bit tired. It's 1245. But God bless you guys. Um, see you in the next video.